Hello everyone, I am Adhya Shahota from XIMB and today I am here to tell you the story of my dream, my passion to learn the art of origami architecture from Ingrid Siliakis. Langston Hughes has said, hold fast to your dreams for if they die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. So I started dreaming at the age of three. Like every kid, I basically liked doing two things, doodling, which my parents called scribbling, and the other was cutting papers. I always liked craft classes, but I always enjoyed crafting at home more than anything, without a syllabus, without boundary to my imagination. At the age of nine, I got, rather I stole from my mom's stationery, my first paper knife, and that was the turning point. I made many shapes out of papers, but more than an ordinary paper cutting knife, it was an important instrument in my lab. I learned geometry using paper cutting, and I learned science. Someone has rightly said, art speaks where words are unable to explain. Art has been a teacher for me. By the age of 12, I had saved enough money, 1900 rupees to be precise, to buy my first paper cutting mat and paper knife, which I still have to this day. So, these are few works that I made. I made scrapbooks, I made gifts, silhouettes, and portraits, and I spread happiness. So it, in BIT Meshra, when I was doing engineering, in one nerve-wracking engineering drawing class, when I was trying to figure out a concept using paper cutting, that's when I discovered origami architecture. Origami architecture is basically the art of cutting and folding a single piece of paper to make buildings or other kinds of architecture. So here, this is basically a piece where I have backlit the, uh, the model, and this is how it looks. I've made a few castles like these. So why is origami architecture important to me even after eight years? It has been eight years since that first class. Origami architecture is important because it is my guru and a guru never loses importance. It has taught me patience, it has taught me not to give up. It has been a companion when I have been low and lonely. It has been a stress reliever after a long day. So there have been many artists who have done great work, like Jerry Stormer, like Mary v. but I have always had one inspiration. That's Ingrid Siliakis. She belongs to Amsterdam, and she is a member of the Guild of American Paper Cutters. She creates magic. These are few work that she has made. So she makes these intricate paper cutting pieces out of a single piece of paper. And this is what I want to learn from her. This is a total cost breakup. And I want to thank Godrej Loud for giving me this opportunity. I have a small token here. And Thank you.